What's going on, you whacking off works in progress? <laughs> Welcome to Grunspeak, not so. Live from the lair! Uh, disregard the penis on the big piece of white paper. I'm covering up a work in progress here as well. Quite literally, a yeah. work in progress. Yeah, it is. But today's video comes to us from Drew, who wrote us an email and was eager to share his story with us. Uh, his RP awakening, so to speak. Yep. Are you ready for this? Yes, and before we get into this, please send in your red pill stories, your divorce stories, slingback stories, or what happened to your ex stories. We will read them on the air, and uh, if if they're good enough, they might actually get their own yes. show, like our own video made like this. <laughs> yeah, ghosts of train wrecks, past, present, and future. Oh God, that's a good name. It's going to be glorious. Yeah, that, that'll be the, uh, the name for all of the stories we do. That's awesome. Yep. Charles Dickens never saw this shit coming. <laughs> Are you the kind of person who's run out of feelings to hurt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah. Then we have the redonkulous swag for you. And we have multiple locations where you can get it. Go to the Stream Elements store or Crypto Fashion and embrace your inner fat punisher. Because after all, there's a little bad pop in all of us, even your mother. Shirts, stickers, mugs, and hats are on sale now. Your support helps keep us independent from big tech and keeps this life-saving train on the tracks. Links are in the meat gazer box. <laughs> but I digress. Let's jump right into it. Hi, my name is Drew. I grew up with a single mom and a sister. Two strikes. So did I. I understand your pain. The pain. I lacked the confidence growing up to talk to girls and women all the way to age 22. You know, yeah. you would think that if women were as good at raising boys into men as they claim to be, I don't need a man, then this would be the polar opposite. They would cover that. Yeah. If masculinity is truly the problem and not the solution, then we wouldn't see 85% of the people in prison not having a father at home, the vast majority of violent and sex criminals, drug addicts, alcoholics, mental patients, you name it. Homeless. Homeless, and yet, here we are. Absolutely correct. <laughs> yeah, listen, I, uh, I grew up in that environment. And I had to figure it out on my own, which made it even more and more difficult for me. Yep. Because when you don't have any guidance and you're literally out there swinging, trying to make things happen, and it doesn't, mm -hmm. you're really frustrated and it really hits your self-esteem. Hello, self-esteem! Growing up with a single mom and a sister is the equivalent of saying you're on your own. Correct. And, and listen, a lot of these guys grow up with a single mother. Their teachers are all female, all the way up to high school. Mm -hmm. If they go to college, a lot of those professors are female. Yep. Uh, quite literally, they don't have any masculinity by the time they're 20. Yep. So now we see just, I mean, literally, we're two sentences into this email, and we've already basically boiled it down. Lack of masculinity is the problem. Correct. Not an abundance of it. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why we have all of these... Uh, 125 genders, with 123 being counterfeit. Counterfeiters! Uh, I would flirt, have a great sense of humor, was polite, and right to the friend zone. Uh, yeah, that's that's actually very, very... I spent a lot of time in the friend zone while I was blue-pilling. Yep. You set up some patio furniture in yeah, there. Yeah, like you know, literally. Try to get comfortable. I had my own cubicle. <laughs> <laughs> you punched a clock in the friend zone? Yeah. Now that's sad. Yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> Raised by women. <laughs> Fuck this place, man. <laughs> That'd be a good comedy skit. <laughs> Just punching a clock in the friend zone. <laughs> uh, don't forget your identity cards. Yeah, I mean, literally I had that mindset like, oh yeah, well someday she'll realize how much of a good guy I am and come back. <laughs> in yeah. the meantime, you know, her, her douche canoe is getting ridden. Yeah. You know, three ways to Sunday, whole yeah. quarts of throat yogurt, <laughs> a warehouse deliveries, a blown out balloon knots. It's, and then you got to sit there in your cubicle in the friend zone and listen or talk about all this stuff. 
and try to be like, you know, understanding. Yeah. That is the simpiest simp of simpishness I have ever simped. Exactly. Yeah. And, and that was me when I was blue pilled. And it happened. We've all gone through Yes. It, every single one of us. But what we don't realize when we're young and dumb and full of stuff that rhymes with dumb, when we're actually taking women's advice on what women want is that really what you're doing is you're setting yourself up for just collecting everybody's nasty leftovers. Yes. Now imagine that like you see the, the Arby's beef and cheddar when it first comes out of the kitchen and there's steam coming off of it. It looks just like the glamour shot up on the board. You're like, oh yeah, yeah, that looks pretty good. I can't wait to get me some of that. And then you watch like 48 dudes take a bite out of it and then whip the crankshaft out, you know, dip it in some questionable brown substances and smear it in there. And then of course they have to add their own horseradish to it as yep. well because you got to have the Arby sauce and the horseradish. And by the time you get it, it looks like a demilitarized zone made out of roast beef. And then you're like, oh, okay, now it's my turn. Now this, this sandwich really knows its value, and I'm going to take me a... <laughs> that's what you're doing when you're blue That's a very pill. disturbing analogy. Uh, <laughs> so, dudes, take it from us, the two dudes who have been there. Stop it! Yeah, listen, it's Don't not, do it. It doesn't take you anywhere good. No, it does not take you anywhere good. The friend zone is not a place where friends go. No. All right. If you ever think you're going to the friend zone and you have any doubts, asshole your way out. There you go. She'll be mad at you. She'll eject you from her life. But you have a greater chance of her seeking you out after the fact than you ever coming out of the friend zone. Yes. And we all know what comes after that. Uh -huh. Figuratively and literally, retribution coitus. Yeah. And, yeah. Listen, assholes get second chances. Nice guys yeah. don't. Because assholes have the self-respect to walk away and say, no, I'm not going to be treated like this. I made my intentions known. If that's not good enough for you, then we're done. I'm you're done. not going to get free shit out of me. I'm not going to give you free meals. I'm not going to give you attention when you're between bad boys, when you're you know, processing half the lumber section at Home Depot and hard caulk yeah. through that wood chipper of yours between your thighs. It's not going to happen. Yeah. And like back in the day, I used to be that. Guy in the friend zone that women called for man advice. <laughs> wow, yeah. I did not know what I was talking about back then. Uh, no. Holy crap. They come to you, they tell you all about, you know, their conquests, like they're a dude or something. You're like, you know, you're just you're just pushing the goal further and further away from yourself. Absolutely correct. He says, I was soft and didn't know it. So that's the key. Not physically, I got into my fair amount of scraps, but emotionally soft. I was a virgin until I was 22. It all changed when I robbed a bank. Wow. Whoa, okay. Well, he says, don't worry, don't worry. I turned myself in and did my time. Well, it's better than being caught. Discovery always trumps disclosure, especially on the negative scale. Oh, I want the story of what. You know, why, what led up to him robbing the bank? <laughs> yeah, I kind of want to know myself. He says, during the multiple hearings, bail, charges, verdict, in court, word got out what I did. The women flocked to me. <laughs> See, now, any woman who says that the bad boy thing is a myth obviously uh, hasn't uh, researched the life of Charles Manson once he was behind bars. Oh, yeah, yeah. He used to get, what, 180 marriage proposals a year. Yeah, him, Ted like Bundy, too. Same yeah. thing. Wow. Yeah, you, just, you totally don't go for the bad boys, ladies. That's just a conspiracy theory. There's no basis for it whatsoever. Kind of like the 2020 Ice Cream Social. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no evidence at all. Just believe what the media tells you. Uh, and, and listening to all these women and feminists, all it does is turn your life into an episode of a soap, soap opera. Yes, it does. It's nothing but drama. And you know what they say about women? If they can't get enough drama in their own life? Watch it on TV! There you go. Why else would shows like General Hospital and Days of Our Lives, The Young and the Restless, and The Bold and the Beautiful still be on the air after 50 years? Yeah. I mean, how many more times are you going to recycle the same plot lines? <laughs> when is that horse going to die from getting whipped? <laughs> <laughs> this, I mean, seriously, at this point on those shows, it's basically inbreeding. They've all banged each other. Uh -huh. They all have kids with each other. It's disgusting. And it sure as hell is not the quality of writing that has made them endure this long. It's bored women who are bored in their life because they're not riding the emotional roller coaster that was their 20s. He's right, you know. But 
We sort of digress. We'll get right back in. Yeah, yeah. I changed <laughs> nothing about my approach, but it was like the friend zone barrier was gone. Shows proof of how screwed up young women's minds are. They all wanted a bad boy. It's a shame that this is where we are as a society, but we were all born into this. I can't argue with him. No, I can't either. He's completely correct. Over the next six months, I was sleeping around and gaining more confidence with each notch on my belt. Mm. Then I met Caitlin. Oh, there's always one. A Jack Daniels promo model. Ooh. Way out of my league. This can only end with one of us dead. But she's also a promo model. You know what that means. Yeah. She's that's... got like five times the number of notches in her yeah. belt that she Oh, made. yeah. I mean, listen, I'm already detecting uh, this is story is going in a bad way. <laughs> yeah. Well, because women who are really easy to talk to and can get along with the guys, that's learned behavior, and it takes a lot of training and repetition, Yep. if you know what I mean. Are you talking about having sex? <laughs> we headed off right from the beginning, and after three months of dating and basically living together, it was time for me to serve my time. For the first month in there, she was writing me every day, visiting twice a week, the maximum allowed, sending me money. And I thought, hmm, I may have a good woman here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She different. She loves me. And then reality sets in. Then the letters stopped. <sighs> Shocker. Visiting day came and went. Nothing for three months. Mm. Then I got a letter. She's moved on. The, the, the John Deere letter, to quote Dumb and Dumber. Yep. <laughs> It read, I'm very sorry for not writing or seeing you in a while. Side note, letters and visits are everything in prison, and I'm sure in the military as well. I've started seeing someone else, and I'm also pregnant with <laughs> twins from you. Oh, no. Bullshit! After deliberation with my two roommates, I decided to abort them. Ooh. Double murder in one shot. Mm. Good. Because uh, it's good her call. choice. It's a choice. Yeah. It's her right. Yeah, it's totally. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because men can go out and just massacre whole villages because they're inconvenient. I can get out of the car on the expressway and beat the shit out of the person in front of me because they cut me off. And that's totally fine, right? That's my right. Oh, well, no, no. That's not good. If he was driving slow, well, then it's acceptable. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I never cried so much in my life, he says. The guys around me consoled me. They felt my pain. Yeah. Ten years later, I'm married with children. Uh -huh. She stays home, homeschools our two kids, and I run my flooring company. She right. understands her role as a mother and a wife. And just to give guys hope, it is possible. Yeah. The thing is... We have never claimed, because I know from personal experience, that it is possible. It's not that every woman will ruin your life. It's that every woman can ruin your life. Absolutely. At any time, they can pull the rug out from underneath you, and you're screwed. Yep. And all it takes is, I'm not happy. Mm -hmm. So let's just not pretend that's not true. Lots and lots of vetting. But finally, at 32 years old, I found an anti-feminist traditional woman. Anyway, I'm getting off track. Okay. I ran into Caitlin at Target yesterday. Oh, yeah. So this is a train wreck of you know, past, present, and future. I can't wait for this. Yeah. After listening to you guys for a year, I finally wanted to write. <laughs> She's now 300 pounds. Ha, ah! <laughs> ha, the former Jack Daniels promo model who was probably a solid nine back in the day and had this dude thinking thoughts of marriage and children, 300 pounds. She pulled the pin on the fat grenade. But that's not all. Okay. She has green and blue hair oh. and smells like cat piss. Stop. Nice! Don't touch me there. This is my no no swear. <laughs> this is what we're talking about when we say play the long game that's right always wow i was in awe when we locked eyes i walked right up to her for the first time i've seen her since i went to prison and said do you smell cat piss and walked away ah <laughs> 
Well, yeah. if anything ever earned one of these, it's this. Yeah. <laughs> I had something similar happen a few years back. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. I was at the party store, and uh, a woman I used to date from back in the day who gave me the business. The business. Literally walked up. At the, I was standing in front of the cooler trying to talk to me, and I reached down, grabbed my Red Bull, shut the door, look at her, and go, Pass! I do an about face, walk to the register, and walk out to my car. How dare you? How dare you? If you weren't worth it to her in her prime, never save her on the decline. It's never a good idea. We need to put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> this is just bad news bears all the way around. But it happens to dudes every day. And that's why we want to hear more of your stories, because this is gold. Yeah, it is. Absolute gold. Gold! <laughs> it debunks so many myths that women have been trying to shove down the throats of men for decades. We don't really want a bad boy. We want a nice guy who's going to take care of us. Bullshit. Yeah. We don't get comfortable, complacent, and fat. No. Well, men do that too, but you know, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, you get the relationship gut. Yeah, you do. You know? The marriage phenomenon, wait. <laughs> it does happen. It does. It does. And that's why it helps if you can, you know, push each other in the right direction. Like, hey, you know, you want to be there and see your grandkids? Then get on that fucking treadmill. Yeah. Do it now. Or l let's walk around the block six times. There you go. Doesn't take much, really. I mean, if you can dedicate like 30 minutes a day to just maintaining cardio, you're probably leagues ahead of most people in their 30s and 40s. Oh, hell yeah. Because most of them will just want to sit there on the couch, you know, put the hand down the pants, Al Bundy's dead. Just listen to their asses getting fatter with the sound of potato chips crunching yeah. in their ears. That's, That's why the they all got to watch the movies with subtitles on. Yeah, the sound of uh, people getting fatter, fatter sounds like this. <laughs> or if it's Lizzo, it just plays a flute on stage. Yeah. It's disgusting either way. Don't you love it how um, Leonardo DiCaprio is bloated? But Lizzo is stunning and brave. I know. The double standards write themselves. It, it literally does. <laughs> I mean, anyway, I want to thank you, Drew, for this email. It is comedy gold. And I hope it gives some other dudes out there who have spent more than their fair share of time in the friend zone some hope that down the road, the long game will reward you for investing in yourself and building your own life. Because that, in the end, is what attracts good women. Unfortunately, it's also going to attract a bunch of bad ones, too. Yeah, it is. And listen, the consequences for making a mistake are so egregious. I literally cannot advise men to go out and talk to modern women today. Yeah. I mean, quite frankly, you, she gets pissed at you, makes an accusation, you're in jail. You decide to marry her, she gives you the magic words, I'm not happy, you're a slave, mm -hmm. or you're in jail. I mean, why would any man with two brain cells want to willingly engage in this is beyond me. Now, I understand you're dick thinking, things happen, but listen, latex saves paychecks and don't be dumb and leave it on her bum. <laughs> okay? Jesus. Can't sum it up any better than that. <laughs> so y'all have a great day thank you for watching the video and if you feel like supporting the channel there are ways to donate in the link tree down in the meat gazer box we'll see you next time take it easy